What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? So do you want to see where hatchet fish come from? I thought so, because this is the Jungle Series. Hatchet fish. You know, the one fish that everyone wants to keep at the surface of their tank. Well, this is a story about where we caught some hatchet fish in the Amazon. But the hatchet fish are just a minor detail. We pulled up to a village one day while traveling north of the Napo River in Peru. We were greeted by young children with smiles like it was Christmas, wide-eyed, smiling with this great curiosity. One of the adults immediately started walking us towards the center of the village. My Spanish sucks, but I speak children. Tag is a universal game, and I actually took off running in a game of chase. I turned around at one point, there were as many as 12 young kids running after me. We walked through the center of the village and asked where the Agua Negro, or black water, is. It's called black water because, guess what? The water looks black. Here we were led to the village pond. Now think about this for a second. A group of people you do not know, who do not look like you, walk up and want to catch fish in your pond, or the pond the entire village uses. This is a hugely generous act on the part of these people. These nice folks took us right to it. Mike Barber, seen here in this video, did one scoop where he caught seven. What up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing you another Amazon Species Sunday for you all. You want to talk about hatchet fish, my man Mike here. God, you see the photo of his face when he pulled these up. You pulled up seven in one scoop, right? Eleven. Eleven in one scoop? <laughs> awesome. You see how they have the blue color on them? You don't see that in the pet stores. This water was pretty much still and probably got a little runoff from the hill, but definitely had a low pH. We never tested it, but we just made sure we brought back a bunch of the same water from this place to make sure the fish were always in the same type of water that they came from. The water in the actual bigger river was a little higher pH. It started to rain a little harder than usual, so we packed up. I walked ahead and sat down on surprisingly one of the most comfortable benches I've ever sat on in the corner of this remote village in the Amazon and stopped. Time seemed to have stopped. There's the field where I was chased by a bunch of young tribal kids. Had a good time. Now it's raining, they're all hot. I love my family. I love my friends. I love my wife and kids. And yes, I love my beloved fish tank people. But as I sat there, I can assure you I did not want to leave at all. These people were so welcoming and so simple. I wanted to spend a week with them, and I'm sure they gladly would have had me as their guest. I'm going to quote the great German poet Goethe here. When asked what the secret of life was, Goethe responded, The secret of life is living. It's about living, people. The fish are just a small part of it. Make it an awesome week, everyone. Tank on. So you want to go on one of these trips? You got three options. Number one, Margarita Tours. Number two, Go Wild Peru. Or number three, both. These guys work together. Click the link in the description box to find out more.